Hey guys, how's it going? Back to part 5 of my Sly Cooper Let's Play. So let's pick it up where we left off part 4. And let's head off to this mission here first. So far, I think we have 3 missions in this area. Let's start with the shortest and easiest level straight to the top. It's pretty easy to get the clue bottles in this area. Away. Let's get on that car and be sure to jump off before it falls. Okay. Get those uh pull out safe. Alright, so far so good. See those neon tubes? I know they look like you can't climb on them, but with your thieving skills, I bet you could pull it off. Of course you can. And so you can just jump all the way down to grab that one. Okay, Before we head to the next part, we have all these clue bottles because there's a whole bunch here. Alright, and here's a whole bunch right here. I think there's about eight. Grab one here. Alright, I think that should be all of them. So let's climb up all the way from the S and Hot Shot. And um, I have to jump across to here. See over there, there's uh, some clue bottles. Try to grab those. <clears throat> and we're gonna have to climb up all the way to the top so we can bring this down, which Sly Cooper somehow can bring it down with his weight. Safe right here. Contains clue, two clue bottles. I got a voiceover message for the two bit thief who's making off with all my treasure keys. You dead, Pally. If I get my hands on you, I'm gonna fit you with your own pair of cement body slippers. You hear me? Your life's free, Jordan. Broke that down, so we can grab this. Okay, um, I think we're missing a couple. Yeah, we're missing about uh, three clue bottles somehow. So, gonna have to go back a little bit, grab those. Here they are. So, sorry about wasting the time. Scoot up a little bit. Whatever. We'll just head back. Climb up here. Careful not to touch that key. And let's get our next power up from our safe. You need an IQ of at least 140 to figure this one out. Dial in 468. Okay. 8. 4. 
Alright, hold on. What am I doing? 468. Outstanding! Another page from the Phoebus Raccoonus! This one features Dev Cooperinda's slow motion jumps. He used this to get by all kinds of airborne threats. Hit the triangle button while in the air to slow down time. That's interesting. I forgot the spelling it. Because I haven't tried to collect the cool bottles until now. Let's see. Wow, that's pretty cool. I'm not sure how I'm gonna use that, maybe, I don't know. It's kind of strange. Let's get back to the dive mode. Alright, and that's that completed. Now let's head back to here. I'm just gonna ignore those lines because I can't really watch. Alright, so let's head to the next level. Back alley heights. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. How about here and uh, start two to tango? I don't know, this I think this is where Hellier uh, Fox comes in. Well, they are the only way to get to the key, since my locator tells me it's in a jewel case somewhere near Bugshot's penthouse. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on. I think before we head to my shop, we're going to try to get that last Well, cool well, well, look miss. who just walked into my crosshairs. Sly Cooper. About time you showed up, Miss Fox. I was getting worried about you. I thought you took a wrong turn somewhere back in Paris. The only one making wrong turns is you, Sly. I'd suggest you surrender before I paralyze you with my good friend, the shock pistol. Now see, a girl whose best friend's a firearm's got issues. A little dinner, a little dancing. I think I can help you out. Hmm, sounds romantic. As long as you don't mind dining in jail. Nah, I hear the service is lousy. Once I catch you, you'll know for yourself. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna have a dodge from a bad aim. I made a fox here. Her aim is pretty bad. It's pretty easy to fox. Aside from a couple of parts where you, she blows up your brain. We'll get that to the later. We'll get into that later. And just effortlessly dodge her. Cooper, you can't run forever. I don't know why she just starts the chase after you when you get the key. Like, makes no sense there, but whatever. He's well with it. All right. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I want to. I really want to get that um, clue bottle. I don't want to comment either, but they don't take too much time if I try and miss, and miss there. I, I think we can get it if we just like rush the hell out of it. So let's just do this shit. And then we'll get into um, Mugshot Boss. Hold up. 
get that clue bottle. I can handle the luck shots fight. Find one out too. Just get out of here, Jesus Christ. Press the circle to enter the vault code. I could have broken this code in my sleep. The combination is 565. Okay. Interesting. Chris Cooper's dive collection technique. This move is an extension of the dive move you already know. Just jump and hit the triangle button near breakable objects for some fast breaking, fast collecting action. Strange. I've got this power up. Alright, whatever, let's just get out of here. Unfortunately, we have to lose our hard shoes to go back there. Crap. Turn that off. Oh, shit. Alright, we're gonna have to make do with this controller because uh, my other controller is out of battery. I got to charge this shit. Look at that ugly mug. I am, and I find it infinitely fascinating. Huh? My X-ray detection devices reveal that a secret elevator to Mugshot's penthouse is contained within that giant head. So how do we get in? Behind this locked wall, there's a lever that summons the elevator. But you need all seven keys to open it up. A mug. Hold up. I'm going to set up my ESP. Charge this. So I've got this guy. Okay. Alright, let's get into the get into my shops. Let's go up here. Start. Oh, hold up. I remember now. Get to go there. Completely forgot about this part. Now that opens, and we can now fight the mod shot. Hopefully, our controller doesn't die before then. My boy 
boys have been yapping about some big mysterious dude running around cracking skulls and, <laughs> and, and this is it? You ought to monkey wrench in my operation? Some scrawny rat with a stick. Alright, wait a second. I seen that stick before. Maybe when my father knocked your block off with it. Your father? Wow! You're a cougar? You know that Singus Rakamagookus had a lot of nice pictures, but way too many big boys. So you don't mind just handing it over? Why? <laughs> what are you kidding? You break into my place, steal my stuff, trash the joint, I feel transgressed and violated. Let's rock! Alright. And I like this boss fight. It's pretty cool. I think it's my favorite boss fight in the first game. Okay. Um, we're gonna have to hit all these mirrors. Uh, mount down his guns right now. But, yeah. I think we need to go for the cutscene again. So be sure to be careful. Oh my god. Alright, he's blocking the He's blocking the last But I'm out down to the guns, but he's gonna go grab more small. upstairs. Good thing I got a spare upstairs. Yeah. Like that line though. Now there's a lot less area to cup to protect us from the gun, so we're gonna have to kinda be extra careful here. Oh my god, shit, the thing blocked the shit out of me. Alright, um, let's be sure, be careful, One, they're kind of homing, they might hit you while you're in jump animation, like you see there. This part can get a little bit scary. Like that, oh my god, that scared the shit out of me in right here too. Alright, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We should be able to do the last part very easily. That's basically what we have to do. Yeah, oh my god, I hate when it does that. Why do you do the spider jump again? Yeah. And, um, my fucking circle button fucking just crapped out on me or something. somehow. And now I have to start this fight again, seriously? It's not good. Since I had it, but my sucker bottle I just did not go through there. Is destroyed. <laughs> good thing I got a spare upstairs. Okay. Well, we're just gonna go extra fast. Okay, now let's not screw up the last part and not fall again. Which was really, really stupid. Ok, 
Okay, one more. Please don't screw up. Alright. And that's Mugshot's boss. This is impossible! A little bit squeak like you? Beating a big, strong bruiser like me? It ain't right! You want all of that stupid picture book? You're gonna have to go down to Haiti and cross paths with Miss Ruby. And then believe you me, you don't want to be you. The mugshot section of the Phoebeus Raccoonus contained an entry from my gunslinging ancestor, Tennessee Kid Cooper. His specialty was the rail walk and rail slide. Moves perfected through a lifetime of theft in the old west. Getting out of town proved to be a little more challenging than getting in. Having just missed us, Inspector Fox went for the next best thing and dragged that canine steroid kills off to jail. That was the end of Mugshot's gambling empire, and Mesa City's citizens soon returned home. While me and the boys, well, we enjoyed the rest of our stay in America, and then returned to Paris, ready for our next mission. Okay, and that's Mugshot's story finished. And now we can... I figured out a way to get us Going to... Um, the next uh, the uh, Phoenix Five movies. Um, so I'll stop here for part five. Uh, Twenty-seven minutes, pretty long, so pretty good. All right, thanks for watching, and hope to see you in part five when I upload it. So see ya.